Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, I need to bring you news of a ridiculous new energy card. And I am happy to tell you right off the bat, I am happy to make a definitive statement. This card is great. This card is going to see a redonkulous amount of play. I will often tell you cards are good or bad. I'm giving you my opinion. It's not that often I come out and just flat out say, this is a great card. This is going to see a huge amount of play. But you know what? That's where we are with Aurora Energy. Aurora Energy is flat out nuts. What does it do? Well, it's kind of unique. In, the, in order to play this energy card... You need to discard a card from your hand. Okay. But then it's like a rainbow energy that you don't take any damage on. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. It counts as one of any type of energy, but only one energy at a time. It is absolutely flat out, inarguably brilliant. It's wonderful. It's phenomenal. And there are many, 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 many reasons why I did promise I'd stop doing that, didn't I? Sorry. The point is, that's how excited I am about Aurora Energy. Now, the comparison to Rainbow Energy here is obvious and it is easy. It is a card that you can attach to any Pokemon you like. And it allows you to use whatever attack you like. It counts as any energy. Cool. Cool. And we've seen decks take advantage of this. I mean, one that I really like at the moment is just using a whole bunch of different Ultra Beasts. The Single Energy Boswell that's pretty gosh darn nice. The Single Energy Zerkatry. The Single Energy Nihiligo. The Single Energy Dusk Main Necrozma. But what's he? I hear you shout. Don't we have Beast Energy? Doesn't Beast Energy count as any kind of energy? Can't you play it even if you don't discard a card from your hand? Doesn't it also let all your attacks do an extra 30 damage? Yes to everything. And it's a Prism Star card that's limited to one per deck. Oh. Yeah, that's not as good. That is not as good. Now don't get me wrong, right? Beast Energy is better than Aurora Energy if you're playing an Ultra Beast deck. And I wouldn't be stupid enough to try and pretend otherwise. What I'm saying is... In a world where you can only play one of these, you're going to need some others. And that's the thing, right? Even if you just go ahead and categorically say, Rainbow Energy's better. Okay, fine. Rainbow Energy is limited to four in your deck, as are all non-basic energy cards. As in any card that isn't a basic energy. Special energy and otherwise. And sometimes we want more than four Rainbow Energy. So this works perfectly. I've seen a bunch of decks recently playing unit energy. And unit energy is, well, it, it's three kinds of energy. So you can either be fairy and fighting and darkness, or water and grass and fire, or metal and lightning and psychic. It can be any of them. But the problem is they only work as trios. If you want to be fairy and metal... Yeah, you've got to use two different unit energies. It's kind of annoying. Here, you can just play four Rainbow Energy, four Aurora Energy, and now you've got eight energy cards that can deal with anything. And at this stage, I should probably remind you about Guzma and Halla. Guzma and Halla is one of the reasons why Special Energy has started to take a little bit of uptick in play lately. Now, initially, it just lets you search for a stadium card, which is fine. But if you discard two other cards from your hand, you may also search for a Pokemon tool and a special energy. Which means we've actually got reliable special energy search. We've been mucking around for ages with nothing better than energy lotto. In terms of cards we can actually use to search special energy. And even energy lotto rotated out in September. No, August. We had an early rotation this year. Right before Worlds. So, actually having reliable energy search makes this like a billion times better. But please don't sleep on how great it is. Just to be able to play eight of these. Just be able to play four Rainbow, four Aurora is great. But I think there is a strong, strong argument 
for this actually being a fair bit better than rainbow energy. I mean, the first and probably most obvious point here, when you play rainbow energy, you have to take a damage counter onto the Pokemon to which you've attached the energy. And that can be a huge difference. I mean, we've used a bunch of examples lately. I mean, we looked at Vitality Band, right? Vitality Band lets you do an extra 10 damage. And I've used a bunch of examples as to when this can be good. One of my classic examples is taking a Reshiram and Charizard against a Pikachu and Zekrom. Reshiram and Charizard should be 10 damage short of KOing a Pikachu and Zekrom. With Vitality Band, you get the KO. If Pikachu and Zekrom attach a Rainbow Energy... They're all of a sudden in range. And I'm not saying you're actually going to play Rainbow Energy in a Pikachu and Zekrom deck. No one seems to. And to be fair, since Cosmic Eclipse comes out, Pikachu and Zekrom has been a much worse deck, seeing a lot less play. But it's just an example. It's just one of many examples. If we take a deck that does sometimes play Rainbow Energy, Mewtwo and Mew, it can copy the attacks of any Pokemon GX in your discard parlor on your bench, so for that reason, you often play stuff like Rainbow Energy in order to be able to copy a wider range of attacks. Also, you can copy EXs. Well, let's take something like Indeed EV. Indeed EV comes along and you do 10 damage base plus 60 for each energy on the defending Pokemon. Well, Mewtwo Mew attaches two energy. You do 130, double with weakness, 260, not getting a KO. But if they attach a Rainbow Energy, boom! Down they go, ladies and gentlemen. Down they go. But if Mewtwo and Mew attaches an Aurora energy, oh, yeah, now they're still cool. Now they're still out of range. It's huge. Now, you do have to discard a card from your hand when you play Aurora energy, which is, of course, the big downside compared to something like Rainbow energy. And I've talked about this a lot in a bunch of different contexts. Some decks don't want to discard energy. But even if you don't want to discard energy, remember how no one played Ultra Ball because discarding two was too much? Remember how when Ace Specs were legal, no one played Computer Search because they didn't want to discard two cards in their hand? You know how Great Catcher came out in Cosmic Eclipse, but no one's playing it because discarding two cards from their hand is too much? No! All of those cards have seen a huge amount of play, and they force you to discard two cards from your hand. No one's going to care about discarding one card using Aurora Energy, bearing in mind you have control over which one you discard. No, we're totally cool with this, ladies and gentlemen. We are totally cool. And then, of course, there are the decks that make it work for you. Decks like Naganadal that want to accelerate energy from the discard. And what's really cool here is you can, say, use Viridian Forest to search out the energy and then use Aurora Energy to discard the energy and then accelerate it with your Naganadal. You've got stuff like Zoroark, whose damage depends on how many Pokemon you've got in the discard pile. Alolan Executor, whose damage depends on how many different kinds of energy you've got in the discard pile. We really don't mind. Some decks can make it work for them. Other decks... I mean, honestly, I've been playing the Pokemon trading card game for 10 years. Just a bit more, I think, now. Yeah, just over 10 years. And I've lost count of how many decks I've used where I have to discard cards. Pretty much all of them. It's not a huge problem, ladies and gentlemen. It ain't going to stop Quick Ball seeing play. That's the one we have to discard a card from your hand and then search for a basic Pokemon. It's not going to stop this seeing play. And then, of course, you've got all those decks like Porygon Z, for instance, that are just all over special energy. As a side note, Porygon Z does let you attach as many special energies you like during your turn, but I see no reason why you wouldn't have to discard the energy. Porygon Z, the one from Unbroken Bonds, does allow you to attach as many special energy as you like. But in the same way, when you attach a rainbow energy, you still have to take the damage. And when you attach a draw energy, you still get to draw a card. Here, you would still have to discard a card in order to do this. So yes, you can just go nuts with Porygon Z attaching these as often as you like. But please don't be under the impression you can do so without discarding a card from your hand. Because I am afraid you will be somewhat... Well, you'll be disappointed, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want that from you. 
Make no mistake about it, this is a phenomenal card. And uh, if you don't think it's a five wassy card, and I haven't convinced you yet, I'm afraid I might be out of ideas. Even if you just go as worse than Rainbow Energy, fine. But you can play four of these in addition to your four Rainbow Energy in your multicolored deck. Even if you're not convinced it's definitely better. I still think there is a very strong argument that it's better. So we are totally cool, ladies and gentlemen. Five Wossy card, absolutely phenomenal. I'd like to know what you think about it, but rather than just gushing, I'd like to know what Pokemon you're thinking of using it with. Go nuts in the comment section, but be nice, would you? And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that and please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash wassy plays where we still talk about games but these ones don't have no pokemon in but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time would you thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.